Just the other day, I happened to click on something that rated the states in terms of happiness, and West Virginia was number 50. And I am from West Virginia. People here are talking about uh, how communities of black and brown tend to be sacrifice zones for uh, issues that affect their environment, and that is so true, but it has also been true for West Virginia. There is understandable fear that coal is dying, which we know it is, but that does mean the lives and livelihoods of a lot of people are also dying without many alternatives. And without a systemic vision of the better world that could be possible, many of you are going to know the amount of dust and traffic and noise and threat to the water and just, you know, they take this bucolic area and people who are choosing to have a rural life and they have ruined it. And now the coal is dying, you know, the leaders, the political leaders are cheering this investment of money to give us rather than uh, a century of coal colonialism, you know, the, the, the new century of continued fossil fuel extraction and transportation that exploits rather than um, uplifts the people in West Virginia. We're just West Virginia strong. We tend to know each other, we work together, we build each other up, but it's not the easiest place in terms of uh, having the resources and the support within the political community uh, you know, that we might have some allies, but we seldom have a majority.